Right, so this is the area I need to work on before I start this goods yard or I'm not going to be able to reach it. So it's just to do something across this edge where the incline is. Um, I've done some down the far end, I did that a while ago. It looks a bit drab so it will need tidying up. But I'm just wondering whether to do a retaining wall to match the brick where those tunnels are. That um, is it random ashlar I think. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is get some grey board, just one sheet. I'm going to stick it around there just to give it a firmer edging. Then I'll decide whether it's going to be brick or part brick and then maybe I can do an embankment for the rest of it. But first thing is I'll get this on so I've got a solid base to work on. It just hides all this. I do need to work out what I'm going to do with this big expanse in between the uh, incline and the upper level two main lines. See it's quite a size. My original plan was, if you can see over there, I've got a small um, crossing in and I'd put some gates in there and I was going to make it into one large field. I don't know if that just, uh, I don't know if it'll look interesting enough just one great big field. So, whether it's big enough to get some buildings in there, uh, I don't know. Or if I just split it into some smaller fields, sheep, cows, maybe some crops. Um, but I'm going to focus on the uh, embankment side first and then I'll come back to that. Right, I'm just waiting for the... Uh adhesive to dry now so that's given me a base it's just deciding what i'm going to do so obviously there needs to be a tunnel portal there it won't be this one um, but it's just to give you an idea a single single tunnel portal um i would if i was going to do that it will be the random ash lad that i've used on the just around that corner so do i do a retaining wall around there That'll give me a bit of space to do something there there's gonna to have to be a retaining wall coming out from that bit and whether then transitioned into an embankment instead the embankment wouldn't be too steep i could either do it down to the floor or i could do it so far up and maybe make some more of those sleeper retaining walls just for the bottom bit uh, it does get wider as well so there is a bit more just pull that back does a bit more room as you get along here um, so they're my choices the retaining wall or an embankment uh, and then just what I would do see it's curved so it'd be alright putting a retaining wall on but getting the parapet walls then to curve might take a bit more work whereas if it was an embankment I could probably then just uh, run a nice hedgerow or something along there so that might be easier in all fairness, but we'll see. Think about this area, and I am going to do an embankment. Um, I've been and printed off some scale scenes pieces to be able to do a tunnel portal there. I think what I will do is a retaining wall will come out probably to about here, just before the curve and then it'll transition into an embankment so there'll be a, a parapet a capping going all the way along and i'll continue it along here stop it where that little uh, level crossing is but then the rest i'll use some insulation board start cutting it to shape just to create an embankment right around that corner a quick blast of matte lacquer on those just to uh, get them sealed before i start gluing them onto the various bits of card just starting to roughly form the embankment using some scraps of insulation board just trying to get the rough shape and I can build it up I probably didn't need to put this on in hindsight I could probably just stuck this straight to the polystyrene but at least it gives me something firm to butt up against
Oh, the looks of a bit of a mess now, but as soon as the adhesive dry, I can then get the carving knife out and just start to shape it into a nice embankment. Uh, I've got to come a bit round here, but I just want to wait and see where the retaining wall is going to come to before I do the final bit. I'm thinking it's probably only going to come to about there, so I could probably get another piece in. I do like building kits using the uh, scale scenes, downloadables. Um, there's some really good uh, think kits available there, but I don't know if it's just me, I'm just a bit weird, but I always um, end up with all off cuts and I never like to throw them. I always think, well, you never know when these little strange little bits will come in handy one day. So it's slowly growing. I've got a bloody tub full here, an old sweetie tin, but you never know when something might just come in handy. So am I just weird? Or does everybody keep these strange little off cuts? So that's the embankment formed roughly as far as I want to go. Um, there's enough there now to be able to shape it to get a, a smooth transition from the incline down to the bottom line. So I've got a few improvised weights just holding it in place. Uh, so as soon as that's dried, which will probably be overnight, I can get the carving knife out and start carving the final shape. Now I'm just starting to get the rough shape, the contour, um, as you can see. Just starting to blend it all in now. Then what I will do is just go over with filler and then some plaster bandage on there. And then work on this little last bit. Right, well I'm just waiting for some of this filler to dry so I can get the plaster bandage on. I thought I'd turn my attention to the tunnel portal which is going to go here this is the scale seams one now I'd ordinarily make these over on the bench in one piece and fit it into place but I've had to adapt this one because the, uh, the the gaps not quite as wide so I've had to cut down the edges which means I'm going to have to do some smaller abutments it's going to make it a bit more difficult because when you do it on the bench you can clamp it quite easily to make sure everything glues in place so I'm going to have to do this and just use probably a bit of a stronger, quicker drying adhesive. Um, but once I've got the, all that lined up, I can get this piece of retaining wall in, which will roughly go to about there. And then just work out how I'm going to change it into the, the embankment. Just looking into the tunnel I might need to extend these internal walls actually just um, so you don't see all the, the bare wood frames inside. And I better just check for clearance before I get too far. Right, so I've got the two side uh, buttresses in. I've got this tiny little um, bit of detail I want to just get up into there. Just got a little bit of PVA on it. So that's in so what will happen is I'm just waiting for the I've done a piece of retaining wall I've just glued it onto another piece of card to double it up so it's the thickness of that so it'll be able to slot into there come out straight and then I'll sort of maybe shape this to be able to create an end to it this side will have the um, the back seam on so I may I may just do some brick walling along that back piece there. Um, and obviously this will all be closed in. So once it is closed in, you will actually lose a lot of the light in there. So you'll not see all the bare wood frames and what have you. That's kind of what I'm going to aim for to get the transition from the, uh, the wall into the embankment. Something similar to what I did there. 
So that's the piece of retaining wall. I did it two, two um, pieces of card stuck together thickness. But then I've just added a third piece across the top. And if you can see, and that follows the contour of this incline. So that will slot in there. The reason I made it just a, a bit thicker because it's got the brick on that side, so that'll act as that side of the um, sort of parapet wall. And then with it just being that bit wider, it'll just sit better when I get a, a top to go on there like that. Um, I'm going to put a small corner in there just to tidy that up as well. Just backfill in there and then sort of work out how I'm going to get this wall across and build into the embankment. So nearly there. Well, I think that's probably as far as I'm going to get now for this week. Uh, made a good start on the tunnel portal. The embankment got some of it painted, um, but I'm just waiting now for bits to dry, some filler to dry, some cardboard I've been gluing, waiting for all that to dry so I can finish off the portal. So not a bad week, made a start on there. So I just need to get some capping on there, up there, capping on there, and move across. And then I'm going to put a small sleeper, wooden sleeper retainer just across that bit and blend it into there, uh, up to that level. There might be room to get a little hut in there, something for workmen. So um, I'll have a think about that as well. It's probably looking like some strange game of building blocks. Uh, there the rough shapes in with the grab adhesive when that's dried I can then get the the blade and start to shape this one back and blend it all in there right with the filler all dry I've just given that a coat of the old brown cheap acrylic just as a base I've just started while waiting for it to dry to look at these walls and getting working out where the coping is going to be uh, it's still got to come up a bit because we need a parapet on there. But that can that can, I can reach that any point. It really, it was around this centre that I wanted to get done. So when it's all dry, I'm going to get some base lasers scatter on, attempt some static grassing again. I was just thinking about would I have room in here just to get a little hut. It probably won't be that hut, but that was just to see what it would look like. So I might be able to do a little scene with, with something in there. First layer of scatters on, the usual, some soil, there's some fine turfs, blended turfs. So that's just the base layer. Um, once, once what I will do, but it needs coarse turf on it, but what you find is when you're doing an embankment, you put the coarse turf on, it all just rolls down. So what I'll always do is I wet it down first with the water with a bit of um, washing up liquid in, so I'll spray all that then put the coarse turf on, spray it again, hold it in place and then do the PVA water. Just seems to stick a lot better without it all rolling down the hill. Once I've given it a quick hoover, I just always empty all the stuff back out the hoover into a, an old yoghurt pot. And then I just sieve it just to get the fine turf back out of the um, coarse turf. Don't like to waste anything probably seems a bit excessive really but then you just get the fine turf and then you get a group of coarse turf so it's had some coarse turf on now and um, it's just sealing usual pva water i've got some patches of the brown paint still coming through which is kind of what i wanted with it being a steep embankment when it's dry i'll get some underbrush on there i'm going to do some small patches of uh, static grass along and then just get some small bushes right across that top edge. I've not gone further than this year. I can reach this one no problem. So um, I'm just working out how the wall's going to be with the top to the, uh, what's that, tunnel? And then a small retainer wall along there. I just need to work out how this corner's going to marry up. So I ain't got to rush that though. The main thing was getting this done so then I can crack on and get some track laid for this good yard. And I've just been working on this embankment. I was going to continue putting this fencing in. 
Now this is fencing I made ages ago, the little homemade jig. Uh, but I'm thinking it's probably a bit out of scale. I'm not too keen on it. So I've been humming and ahhing what to do to get round to that side right over there. If you can see in the distance, right to there. And I've decided I think I'm going to use that stone wall in. Um, if it's a farmer's field with sheep and that, it wouldn't look out of place. I think it might just give a little more effect if it's stone walling. So I'm going to get get enough to get round to that end over there. Never mind what I think. I then might swap out this inside one as well for some more stone walling. But um, I'll see how we get on first. See what the outside one looks. I may keep that in a fence, but um, this one's definitely going to come up. I've decided. It didn't give much of a fight, so that's come up quite easily. This is an old piece I've cut off, which is no good, but it's the, the stone wall then just to give me an idea. So I'm thinking, putting it along there, it might just give more of a, um, a nicer view with the engine running past. Just starting to build up some thicker growth on this embankment. Before I can do this bit, I need to get a capping piece up there. So I've just been looking at, I've got a little off cut. I put like a 45 degree on that edge. Don't know if that comes out. And then at the top end, I just cut a V out of the back and then just nipped it over with some pliers. Oops, sorry about that. So hopefully that will just sit and the bit of super glue will bend that over. It'll look something like that. And then with a bit of growth over it, it won't look so harsh. It'll just hide some of any exposed edges that I might have. So it kind of just finishes that little wing wall off, putting those copings across with a little bend on the top as well. Well, I did manage to squeeze another day in because even though the weather said it was going to be fine and mild today, it's absolutely chucked it down. So this is probably finally it for this week. Um, waiting for the embankment stuff to dry. I've just been working on this little tunnel portal here. So what I've decided to do is there'll be a parapet wall across there uh, and a pillar, but nothing across there and nothing across there. What I'm going to do for this bit is put some of the fencing fencing up there, run it along to the little level crossing, which is there. So that'll just have fencing and then I'll uh, put something down for this area. So hopefully by next time you see this, I'll have the stone walling in place uh, and something happening with that field. And then we can start on the real fun part, laying some track.